Hey there nerds, Jimmy Palmquist here and I have a little drive time chat. I wanted to talk about the recent news of the latest Prometheus movie. Now we've been just generically calling it Prometheus 2 and there's been news and updates and moving along and apparently we're getting closer. He did mention that, Ridley Scott did mention that it was going to be his next film after The Martian. And I just reviewed The Martian, so go check it out. It's a fantastic movie. Check out, check out my review. But the new latest news is that Ridley Scott has given the film a name. And curiously, it's called Alien Paradise Lost. Personally, I can't fathom that actually being the title. I can't, I can't imagine that is what's going to make it to the marquee. I think it's a weird title to go with with the Prometheus franchise, so to speak. Um, I know that obviously we have an alien in it at the end, but during the press screening and such, we were made sure, made aware that this was Prometheus and that it was not aliens and that it was in the universe of alien, but it wasn't like on the same planet. So now to actually just flat out call it Alien Paradise Lost, it's like, interesting choice. I guess I should also mention that if you haven't watched my reviews or seen my opinions on Prometheus, I hate that movie. I think it's an awful movie, yet it's a weird juxtaposition of hating that movie, but I desperately wanted a sequel because I don't think there was enough answers to the questions that were raised. And I thought they raised a lot of questions, and we have, in my pro my mind, continuity issues, or I guess um, realistic issues on, that's how you make an alien? All these coincidences have to come together, these specific situations have to come together, and that's how the alien is born, the xenomorph. I don't necessarily, I don't understand that, I don't get it, and I, I get the black goo, and that, that infects you, and it has effect on you, but that didn't lead to what became the alien. So that's why I'm, I'm curious how that came about as far as now we have a whole race of aliens. And maybe that's what's gonna be answered. I am thrilled that Naomi Rapace will be back. I thought she was fantastic. And Michael Fassbender, no clue how they're gonna do that. Um, just, well, don't know. But he's, he's an android, so a lot of options there. I really hope that they make the story tighter. I think that's what was missing. The film was beautiful. Ridley Scott just does beautiful films. He knows how to make, he knows cinematography like no other. He does a fantastic job. So it was beautiful. I just don't think the story was as tight. I hope we get there. I honestly don't know how this will fit in with the alien world. Because we have an announcement that there's going to be a new third installment in Alien, meaning we're gonna take the events from Aliens and make a sequel to that. And I'm imagining, pretend that Alien 3 and Alien Resurrection don't exist, not to mention the Predator versus Alien on all those flicks. So I'm not exactly sure because, from what I understand, Sigourney Weaver and Michael Bain will be back for that film by Neil Blokenkamp. So we'll see. I don't know how that all ties in. Obviously, it doesn't need to tie in because we're sort of really, really, from what I understand, early prequel status. Maybe not because this is a whole universe we've never explored. I just really hope, really hope, we get some answers. And to that end, I'm nervous because I don't know if this is a joke or not. It was in a German interview and then it was translated to English. Ridley Scott made note that we're gonna have like three more films because he mentioned that we might not see the alien right away. We might see him in the second or even the fourth film. And it's like, oh my Lord, are you kidding me? So crazy, crazy. I hope he doesn't pull George Lucas and try and stretch these films out and we have a very threadbare thin story going into the first, well, first two, three, whatever. I just, I don't know. I really hated Prometheus. I'm really nervous that we're building a franchise off of that movie. If there was not the idea of xenomorphs and aliens in this, I wouldn't be interested at all, but because I love basically the first three alien movies, I want to know more unless I'm uh, my interest is piqued with Promethe Prometheus, although the movie was terrible. So I really want to know. I want to know more. I want to know what you guys did here. I know 
I know I'm going to get trolled because people love Prometheus. I think it's a crap film. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below.